everybody, welcome to day nine. Greg here showing up in this form today. I thought I'd have a little fun with it. We're in Galatians and I'm just loving Galatians, man, because it's all about freedom. The freedom that Christ brings us. But you see, there's a downside to this freedom thing. Let me tell you what I mean. Paul in Galatians 5, 13 says, hey guys, you've been called to freedom, but don't let your freedom become a license or an opportunity to mess up in the flesh. Here's the truth. Freedom is more challenging than bondage. Ask a criminal. It's way easier to live in jail than on the street because in jail, there's less options. There's less ability to mess up. There's less ability to commit a crime, so to speak. Do you know there are religious people that would rather live in bondage, if that's a word, bondaged a religion than they would in free relationship with God? Here's the good news. The good news is that the freedom that Christ gives us actually helps us live righteously free so that we can love others. So freedom has a bondage. It's called the responsibility of total freedom. But bondage also has a freedom, and that's the freedom to never have to grow up and make your own decisions. So I've got good news for you today. We have been called to freedom. Let's use our freedom not to turn on our flesh and to do, do stupid, but rather to let our freedom help us to love one another and love others. Okay, guys, this is my video for this time. Let's continue to give God 12 because we have that opportunity to give God the time of our lives. See ya. Thank you.